Departments of Defense and Veterans Affairs began an important meeting in Nashville to discuss new ways to prevent military suicides. About 20 veterans take their own lives each day. A hotline launched in 2007 has answered more than three and a half million calls, sending emergency help to nearly 100,000 people. Dean Reynolds gives us an inside look. Are you having any suicidal thoughts today? Have you ever attempted suicide? At the Veterans Crisis Line in Canandaigua, New York, the calls come in all day and all night. Can you put the knife in a safe place? What did you do with a nail gun? 1,700 calls every day from veterans on the brink. CBS News was given rare access to the VA's responders and their literally life-saving conversations. Right now, you're having thoughts of suicide and you have intent to end your life. So I want to get somebody out to you. 20 veterans take their lives every day in America, 6,000 a year. Personal finances, broken relationships, and loneliness are all factors. And you have to deal with all of them. And we have to deal with all of them. Responder Terrence Davis, a Navy veteran himself, says he always tries to answer by the second ring. What's the stress level for you? Oh, the stress is, uh, man, it, it's, it's highly stressful. Former Sergeant Danny O'Neill knows that feeling. Santa Cruz, California may be a long way from the battlefield, but for him and his men, Sadr City, Iraq is close by. It was hell on earth. It was um, the most dangerous place at the time. In 2006, his unit lost nine men in the fighting, but back home, 14 have died at their own hands. The guys started isolating and drinking and doing things that they thought were helping them cope, and it, and it led to depression and suicide. O'Neill, who attempted suicide in 2012, today describes it as the new enemy, with isolation as its accomplice. It's that missing connection that Danny O'Neill is seeking, and it's why he now arranges surfing reunions like this one for his fellow warriors. When we're together, we feel that sense of family and that sense of team that we missed. What is it about the water, do you think? I've heard that the Pacific has no memory. For me, that's powerful because I can take a rock out there and I can give it to the ocean, and I don't have to carry it around anymore. And you've been having these thoughts for a while? Back in New York, at this very hour, the VA's responders are also trying to lift that burden one call at a time. How do you want to work through this today? Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Canandaigua, New York. We've posted a list of resources for suicide prevention on our website at cbsnews.com.